So, this is how my day is starting today. Video editing yesterday's vlog. Pretty late this afternoon. I know I've been coming in the morning, but that's because I do it before work. So this time, I'm gonna start with this. Then, I'm gonna visit my family. So, yeah, let's get to it. Now, heading to my mom's and walking, thinking. One thing is, is that after doing so many things in a week, I mean, Puerto Rico, came back, hung out with my friends, went to go see a movie I've been waiting for forever. And then uh, the Black Light Run yesterday. After doing all those things, it's kind of like, you gotta think of life. As a, there's a bunch of up and downs. There, there can be no ups without the downs, kind of thing, you know. So, one thing I want to tell you guys is that when you have all these highs, just like I did, you know, Puerto Rico, I did so much over there, and all this, just like I said, leading to today, where I had like nothing planned. It's gonna be a, a relaxing day. I'm gonna be with my family and whatnot. Um, but it's like all these last few days being at work and, ha and having to do stuff like that and the reason why I don't like it is just because that's my lows you know and I guess having a job isn't so bad and it's weird to be saying that but think about it this way without that I wouldn't appreciate those times I have with my friends and family as I do <laughs> now so I think it's gonna be a day where I don't work it's gonna be a day where you know I don't have to wake up on someone else's time I'll be waking up on mine and that's probably gonna be the greatest time of my life but even if you have a life like that and I've heard this on countless occasions from all the podcasts I listen to and books that I've read and asking more successful people questions like it. They say like they have to build a routine themselves. They still wake up really early, go to the gym, eat right, all this stuff. Even though they don't have to work, they don't have to do any of that for their job. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that it's just something that's gnawing at my brain but maybe it might help you guys so my stepfather is working today he works in a liquor store and I'm gonna surprise visit, visit him because he's not home. So. Hey! <laughs> What's up? These are delicious. Forgot what they're called. Eh, I'll figure it out later. My favorite part of coming to my mom's house. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Favorite animal in the world. Mm. Hello. Almost forgot. <gasps> I like that. Oh, 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 those are so cool. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jane. Do it, do it, do it. I'm taking two charity. So, just had an hour long conversation with a great friend of mine, Max. Um, he has a startup business called restaurantzone.com definitely check it out I'm gonna link his business in the bio below so if you're like in the restaurant business or anything you have to check this site out um, and right now I'm going to my aunt's house to see some of my extended family and see my aunts and whatnot have some delicious homemade food this is gonna be Awesome.
It smells. Wando. It's so good. What is it? Oh, I love it. You love it? What you love? I I love um. paper. I have a huge stain on my shirt. Look at that. Yep. Yep. But I have to go back outside, buy toilet paper, because I have an Airbnb guest coming tomorrow. And obviously, you have guests, you need toilet paper. <sighs> this is how we're going to end the night. I got my toilet paper. <laughs>